Wonderland, your complete family fun center. This claims to be the oldest uh, miniature golf course in the U.S. A lot of people playing. Got like an old school magic shop here. That's pretty cool. Flips magic. <laughs> they got like all the classic like uh, prank stuff, fake, fake duty. They got costumes and masks and stuff in here. Oh wow. Got like a illusion box. Hey, he's gonna do magic. Here's the uh, toy vintage toy store that we were in earlier. Frank's toy box. Really cool store to check out. All right, I guess we're gonna check out this arcade here. We just went to the vintage toy store and got a record cover. Well, I'll show it in the car then. And then we got like a little uh, figure thing that she wanted. Let's check out this arcade. Oh, this is like an old sign, yeah. There's another one. Arcade. Oh, they got Adam's family. Nice. Nice. What more could you ask for? Godzilla, I haven't tried that yet. I'll probably play that. Definitely gonna play some Adam's Family. I guess it's coins? Yeah, good. Two plays for a dollar, that ain't bad. All right, here we go. This has the original lighting on it. <laughs> A little dark. I felt like. Yeah, it's like a little bit. It leans to the right. I also haven't played in a while. Yeah. It does lean to the right though. 
simply wasn't prepared. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought she was naked at first. Uh, it's like, wow, it's <laughs> old in here.
happens if you get moth? Shoot it into the moth thing up there. So we just left Geneva on the lake, and that was a very bizarre experience. <laughs> I mean, first of all, you have tons of people there because it's Memorial Day. So like, it was just nonstop people everywhere you walked. All the like shops there are really small, so like, you go in them and Turn it's like so Austin Road. crowded. That was and truly an experience. Um, I appreciate the charm of novelty shops, and we were excited to get to go into the magic shop. And, In 4.4 um, miles, turn right onto South Ridge Road East. That antique store actually had a really cool variety, which she'll show you. But um, the magic store was cool too, and they even had like an adults only section with like vintage novelty stuff, so that was really fun. Um, but yeah, it was packed like sardines everywhere and um, not like unbearably hot, but just very crowded for us, so. <laughs> and also I was getting like vibes that I shouldn't film in the places, so it felt a little weird filming, so I didn't get a lot, but we did get the arcade and I showed you like some places walking around, so at least we got some footage, but yeah, the vibes there are weird because it's like a biker town, felt like an alternate reality. Yeah, that it's was pretty weird. It's like white America at its the you know, most extreme. So it's like <laughs> weird, like a, just a weird culture there. I don't know. Like I don't have anything against bikers or anything like that, but it was like biker bars and like a lot of drunk people and rowdy, probably like people that are gonna get rowdy later on. <laughs> and I would imagine like on a day that's not Memorial Day there would be less families and more like party people there because I didn't even really see a lot of families today I got the vibe that like that place is mostly just like a party town right 
Yeah, but, lots but, of live music and people were already out drinking. But the main draw of the place is obviously that there's a lot of like vintage establishments, like old stuff there. Like we wanted to do the world's oldest miniature golf course, which opened in 1924. But there were so many people on the course that like it would have been so hard to film. And uh, yeah, there was like an old, that classic arcade was cool. I mean. I think the arcade, the antique store, and the magic shop were all cool for what they were. Um, but also we just like don't, we don't drink at all. Yeah. Really, so we don't participate in that. And it was already getting like a little rowdy. <laughs> the drive-in looked really cool though. I mean, I wanted to eat there, but like, there was a ton of people like waiting for their orders and like they're almost all the tables out back were filled even though there was probably like a hundred of them yeah and i mean we just ate not like that long ago so we're not like starving yet oh so. i don't know if you can show them but i stopped at a yard sale on the way there and i picked up a space age oh yeah radio and eight check track this player. out that's really an amazing find at a yard sale it's an awesome oh well, wait i gotta turn it around Check this out. Mansion. That's like our actual income. Um, we're collectors and resellers, so that was really cool to find at a sale. On, off the side of the road, we just found a random sign and I just stopped quick. And the price was good too. Yeah. So, yeah. That pretty much does it for the activities of the day. Day we're gonna, three. Yeah, day three, so. That was a pretty cool day of just like going to lakeside towns and beaches and stuff and just checking out like what, you know, like the culture along the Lake Erie and Pennsylvania and Ohio is like. Oh, you should show what we got at the store. Oh yeah, we got at the magic, I mean not the magic shop, the antique toys, what, what was it called? Frank's Toy Box. Check this out, House of Terror. We never saw this before. It doesn't have the record with it, but That's it's okay. got- We collect all of the vintage Halloween and horror vinyls, so even just the cover with that pamphlet or insert is pretty cool. It's got like a um, Tales from the Crypt style comic in it, comic book. Pretty cool. There's a Frankenstein one and a Dracula one. But yeah, it's missing the record. And then... She was nostalgic for this, because... You said, like, your mom showed you this when you were a kid? Yeah, that's, um, a weird French cartoon card called Barba Papa. I think, I'm not even sure if I'm exactly saying that right. Yeah, I don't know if I ever saw it, but I do know what it is. It's pretty weird. Yeah. So yeah, tonight we're staying at a Red Roof Inn outside of Cleveland, so we're going to make our way there now. And I guess we will see you tomorrow and catch you on the roadside. You didn't do it. <laughs>